Hi, I'm Sabrina from The Power Within Us and I'm here today to talk about Cambo. Um, basically, on the 20th of March, together with the solar eclipse, the spring equinox and the supermoon, I was invited to do a Cambo ceremony. For those who not know what Cambo is, um, basically it is a um, poison which is extracted from this little green frog from the Amazon and um, a shaman will then put it into your body to get rid of all the toxins and to, to scan anything that's is wrong with you and strengthen your immune system. So how does that work? Basically, in the indigenous tribes, um, when, when they were ill or they were needing more strength, the shaman would then conduct this ceremony um, taking the poison from the frog in a very specific way with a lot of intention and um, after that it would then gather the, the tribe warriors to, to again uh, invite this spirit of the frog and make sure that um, everything is done in, in a very particular way in conjunction with the spirit of nature and um, basically what he would then do is burn um, little dots on their skin in a particular place. I'll show you what mine mine was done. So right here. Um, so it burns these little dots and basically after that he would then put the poison and the poison it then will then run within within your bloodstream scanning for any toxins and and then after that in a few minutes or so you start burning it out. So why why the frog? Basically this frog uh, has no fear. So they say why why does it has no fear? Because it has no predators in Amazon. It has actually nothing nothing attacks it. So even if you if you've seen anything about Cambo, you see the the tribes, the frogs come in and jump on them, jump on a chaman and they, they, they're not afraid. So it's not like they're being harmed or anything. It's it's nearly like they have a a contract with with the tribe more the nature is enabling or allowing them more likely to to use their, um, their poison to clean to cleanse their bodies and um, what is what then happens is they will be able to hunt better they will be able to be uh, clear of head and um, obviously they will cleanse their bodies so so that's that's how how combo basically works on a nutshell obviously there is more to it but for for you who don't know this is this is what it is so on the 20th i was very excited i wanted i really wanted to do a ceremony because of the, such a powerful day so i was invited by my yoga teacher to come and take part of this and i was um I was very apprehensive because I, I didn't know what to expect. Um, I, I sort of knew everything I read about it, but you know, once you're there and you're experiencing it's a completely different ball game. So um, what did I experience? Um, fear. So basically, <laughs> uh, I was very afraid for some strange reason, I don't know why. Um, Right after the shaman started the, the the procedure, she was she was very good, very um, you know, we made me feel very safe, and and she knew what she was doing in terms of of how she proceeded with with the ceremony steps and and so on. Um, so thankfully, when I was in that kind of fear stage, she was always making sure. Um, my my spiritual body was taken care of and I was feeling protected um, so I did feel this kind of like anger and fear coming up from from somewhere and it was really really hard to let go because basically you start feeling really ill and um, it's really hard to focus I have, I was actually experiencing a lot of physical pain as well nothing like some anything hurting well apart from the arm obviously but um it was this pain that was building up building up building up and then it got up to here and i just couldn't let go of it 
until <laughs> I couldn't hold it anymore so I had to let go which was awesome and everything is just started to come out and then more and more the more you purge the more you know obviously the the, the poison and the toxins start to coming come out of your body so um, you start feeling better and you start coming back to yourself in terms of visions I had I had some or one maybe I would say maybe one vision I didn't really quite understand what it meant I was sort of um, seeing this um, tribe I don't know if it was an indigenous tribe or maybe a an, another kind of tribe maybe it was uh, uh, Egyptian I don't know but I saw all these people working alongside the river and it kind of felt like they were um, they were sort of like working together for something I don't know if they were slaves or not but um, because I was struggling so much with the ceremony I didn't really focus on the vision I was just like ah I don't want to see it I just want to get better and I was just trying to to function and everything but um, funny thing is every time I was you know having that shakes and thinking oh my god I just want this to be over and then your ego come into action and is questioning everything why are you doing this to us and I don't want to be here <laughs> and then you have to bring in that strength and, and really like no there is a reason for this so basically another very important thing about Cambo is that you have to have an intention before doing it or you have to set an intention while you're doing it of letting go of something that you don't like about yourself or, or something you want to improve or anything that you think you could be better and, and change yourself so then you can welcome this new this new you know gift into your life so so yeah so setting in the intention is very important what else I would say setting the intention it doesn't last that long so the whole ceremony is three hours um, the worst part of it is the very first, the, the beginning after you, you get the, 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 the dots put onto you and in the next 40 minutes it's, it's quite a struggle, it was quite a struggle for me, obviously everyone is different. Um, the number of dots as well is determined by the shaman so each, each person will be, might be a different number of dots and obviously the, the way that is decided is by the shaman's intuition or you know uh, the connection with her and the, the, the spirit of the forest they will tell her what to do and how 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 much or how many dots um, each person needs so it's it's pretty pretty much it I think after the ceremony basically um, when you purge everything you, you then go into that clarity space and you feel really light I felt really light I actually felt like dancing because <laughs> she was also playing those um, um, songs that are basically um, chanting from the forest and so on and because maybe because I was also born in Amazon so I, I really felt that connection with it I really felt like I wanted to be in a forest at that moment, I wanted to dance, I wanted to go with the rhythm of the floor, the forest, but um, yeah, so quite interesting, um, I hope that was helpful, um, basically you need to do three ceremonies within one month cycle to make sure your, your immune system is really clean. Uh, I think one ceremony makes your your body quite well, quite well protected and, and clean and your immune system busted for like one year I would say and then if you do three the three side uh, the three ceremonies within the one cycle you then are covered for <laughs> covered for seven years so it, it really cleanses your system um, what I've noticed is my eating eating habits, they've they really messed up now. I mean everything that I used to eat, now I'm trying to eat and it doesn't feel quite right. So yeah, I can't really deal with any fried stuff or any unhealthy stuff, which is annoying because I really like them. So I guess um uh, that was uh, a lesson that I, I need to learn and um 
I'm still I'm still coping and seeing what's gonna happen but I'll probably do a next ceremony and hopefully we will film everything for you guys and then you can have a look how how it works um, that's it so if you have any questions just get in touch with us or if you have anything to say we'll um, looking we'll be looking forward to hearing from you well take care and uh, uh, thanks for watching